Hello guys and welcome back to this week's vlog. I feel like I haven't spoke to you in so long. I just needed a little reset moment before the last kind of four weeks, five weeks of the year um, before Christmas. So I'm very excited to be back. I feel like there's lots to update you on. Lots has been happening, um, lots of new in stuff. I'm wearing this new uh, cashmere set from the White Company. No, not the White Company, from Zara Home, which I know you guys are gonna absolutely love. So I'll show you it properly in a second. Um, I also got new hair, which if you follow me on Instagram, you'll definitely have seen that, but very happy with it. We went a little bit darker um, and also a little bit longer. Pretty much back to my absolute natural color now, which feels really nice. We did four foils in my natural hair. Um, and only kind of like under my hair so when I wear it up you can, it gets a little bit of like brightness around the sides but we didn't do any colour on top, we didn't top up my money piece I'm just really trying to grow it out, use minimal dye and then get the kind of highlights through from the extensions changed my hair from Easy Locks to Beauty Works and I know I swore up and down that I would never get tapes again but I have tapes in and I'm actually getting on with them really well so I think it's because the Beauty Works tapes are a lot smaller than the Easy Locks tapes so they're just a lot more manageable they don't feel as like intrusive in your head and also because I kept them all around the back of my head rather than like here I feel like they're really easy to work with I have 12 tape sandwiches around the back and then I have 10 beads on either side just to kind of like fill out my um, fringe section. This is the Beauty Works hair and it's rooted if you can see. So up here is pretty dark and then it comes down into the lighter tone which I just think is so nice. Super natural looking. These beads as well, there you go, are very dark. Um, so you really like can't see them in my hair. There's some in there. <laughs> Um, and yeah, I just feel like overall, I don't know, when I was getting my hair done in the salon, like all the girls and me were like, we're just so excited. We're like, this is the best hair we've done yet. Like it just is so nice. And I, I actually think that the darker color, although it probably doesn't look that different to you guys, but obviously when it's your own hair, it feels like dramatically different, right? Um, but I think that the darker, slightly darker tone just suits me a lot more, especially for the autumn winter, like, I don't know, I just think it is nicer on my skin tone. It looks a little bit more mature. I really like it. So that's my hair update. <laughs> a couple things around the house. We started to make some loose plans. I've said this before, but I am just not one of those interior design girlies. Like I find it so difficult. I cannot walk in a room and think this color scheme, these pieces of furniture, this layout, like it just, my brain doesn't compute like that. It's very much a trial and error situation. So we had a little chat last night. We've been making some loose plans, looking at some furniture, and I think we've kind of got a little plan in place. Um, I'll take you down and show you all that as well. And then in the kitchen, we still haven't found dining chairs, but we have a kitchen, like large, it's not a chandelier, but like a large lamp going up on Thursday, which is really nice. Doggies are doing great. Um, they're actually, I don't want to jinx it, but I feel like they're becoming friends now, which is so nice. I went on a walk yesterday and normally Biggie will like pull Johnny ahead so that he is in front of Yodi and Yodi would walk with me at his pace and it would be like them in front, us slightly behind. But yesterday it was very much like the two of them were walking together, very friendly and like interacting per se, but... Biggie was very happy to just walk alongside his brother, which I know seems like such a small thing, but honestly it was like... I felt like such a proud mum. I was like, yes, they're finally making progress. So I feel like that is definitely getting better. Today is quite a nice day at home. A little bit of a Monday catch up day. I have some new in to show you guys, new pajamas, new loungewear. <laughs> I have a couple bits from H&M, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna save that and do a video, like it's on video. I have some new jewelry that I wanna show you guys. And also, I'm going to get Johnny to take the Christmas tree out of the cupboard so I can at least get the tree up today. Um, maybe not decorate it today, but I'm going to get the tree up. And I also did a couple orders online yesterday for some Christmassy bits, which I'm very excited for them to arrive. I'm sure they'll arrive this week. And yeah, it's just a really nice kind of reset, get back into vlogging, take you guys along kind of week. So anyway, that was a very long intro. But to start off with, I have some new jewellery that I want to share with you. You might have spied this little, oh no, has it gone inside? <laughs> I had this beautiful necklace on this morning from Astrid and Me You. And you guys know how much I love Astrid. I know how much you love Astrid. Especially this time of year, they just have the most gorgeous, like classic 
but also slightly edging on like party season pieces like a lot of jewels a lot of like dangly little bits and nice rings and I just feel like they're so good for this time of year so this little necklace is my N which I just love I also really love how dainty that chain is I think it's so beautiful but my little diamond N so Astrid are doing a cyber week deal I am not doing cyber week this year guys I kind of slightly did it last year and I really hammered it the years before but I just find it such an overwhelming time of year and the only things I'm going to share this year which to be fair I've been doing for a couple of years but really refining it down this year and I'm only going to share with you the things that I genuinely have my own eye on um, and the deals that I genuinely think you guys will absolutely love so I'm not going to just share like loads of random deals but I'm going to share the bits that I love and I know you guys will really benefit from hearing about. Hello, this is future me, just popping in really quickly to let you know. Ashley and me, you actually gave me an early access code for you guys. So Nadia25 will get you 25% off the website right now. Um, and then as of tomorrow, it will all be automatically applied. So if you're shopping today and you want early access before the real sale starts, use my code Nadia25. So Astro Me, you have 25% off almost everything. That excludes solid gold, excludes services, and it also excludes advent calendars. Services like piercings, tattoos, um, but almost everything else will have 25% off, which is great. It's a really good time to start your Christmas shopping, which will make a little bit of saving on that. Um, it runs from the 20th of November until the 28th of November. So I have some pieces. Well, you guys will have seen these earrings so many times. I swear these are just the best earrings. They cover day to night. They cover smart casual. I even wear them like this just with loungewear. I just think they're the perfect hoop. They are called the Molten Hoop and I just love them. They have a new collection called the Gleam Collection, which is just gorgeous. Very much my style, so really nice kind of classic pieces. Um, pieces that are maybe not so in your face, but discreetly in your face. Does that make sense? So really nice little hoops, but with some diamonds on them, or a really nice little tennis bracelet, things like that. Things that really catch the eye, but aren't like screaming at you, but I feel like they really elevate an outfit. So I'm sure you all will have seen this but I just really appreciate nice packaging and I feel like the Astrid packaging just matches my aesthetic it's like the most beautiful light pink ever and your jewellery is in the little dust bag in there as well so just a little overview of some of the pieces that I have from the Gleam collection first of all this ring how beautiful is that do you see what I mean by saying it's so discreet but when it catches the light or when somebody's eye just catches it it's just so beautiful so a couple of the tennis pieces which I'm obsessed with this is going to look so stunning on my bracelet stack I'm in love so a little bracelet and then this piece I'm so excited about it's a tennis necklace and imagine that when it catches the light it's just stunning and have a couple of earrings these ones are such a classic from Astrid I actually already own these so I'm going to save these and give them to my sister for Christmas she is obsessed with Astrid and I know she's going to absolutely love these so slightly chunky diamonds on the front these I love so much I love how they're not perfectly straight lines they've got a little wiggle in them and then again the little diamonds so so beautiful so either on their own or stacked up with something a little bit larger this ring i'm just in love with like how beautiful it's kind of giving like icicle snowflake that kind of vibe just love it and then this necklace i know you're all gonna absolutely love so this is the most beautiful dainty little necklace again i'm gonna give this one to my sister this although it looks small trust me is the most perfect little piece to just catch the eye add something a little bit interesting and it's one of those pieces that you'll just leave on all the time and it will just look so beautiful i just put a couple of the pieces on to show you but first of all look at these hoops how beautiful are they i'm just in love and then that little ring as well i'm obsessed i actually thought when i first saw it, it would need to be like a stacking ring but i think on its own it's just so beautiful how stunning is that especially when it just catches the light and on my neck i layered up my little end that i showed you earlier with the tennis necklace which i'm just in love with the way this catches the light is so beautiful imagine it for like a black suit for a christmas party so like long leg trousers heels black blazer like looking quite smart and sophisticated and then just adding in these little jewels on your neck beautiful and also the little ring that i showed you as well yeah i'll leave everything down below if you guys want to shop remember it starts on the 20th so that's tomorrow and it ends on the 28th so you've got about a week to shop for all your christmas bits just before i head down this is the little zara cashmere set which is so cute you might remember i did buy one was it last year or the year before um 
I don't know where it is. Actually, I want to say I don't know where it is or I want to say that I washed it and ruined it. It's definitely one of those two things. <laughs> um, so I picked up a fresh one. The cashmere is actually really, really nice. Definitely doesn't wear as well as like white company cashmere, but it is really nice and it works out. I think it works out a little bit cheaper than a white company set. Kind of like cropped flare. And then they actually have like this smart crease down the front, which I think is cute. So I definitely wear this with like loafers and a nice jacket for um, a casual day out or like going for a nail appointment. Um, yeah, really nice. I'll leave it down below for you guys. Okay, I just changed into my new skin. <laughs> I have a real problem, guys. Do you remember I showed you the black pajama trousers that I got? Has that been the last vlog you guys watched? I think so. Um, I picked them up in the grey as well. And honestly, I've literally been living in them the last few weeks. I just got this parcel from the Napco. The nicest, like, pajamas, underwear, bras, basics. Just all comfortable, cozy, like, I don't know, just lovely little pieces. And they also make gorgeous Christmas presents. You can get them gift wrapped like this. I'm pretty sure all of this is from the new collection, which I'm very excited about. Oh my God, this is so nice so soft so this is like a little tank sports bra not sports bra a little like tank top bra top um i love wearing these so i wear like pajama bottoms this and then my pajama shirt like open and it's just that perfect temperature outfit i don't know <laughs> i love it oh wow oh my god okay this is one of their little basic tops i have them in black and nude i wear the black ones all the time at home at the gym like literally all the time but this is their new color latte which is the same color as the, the little bra but oh my god how nice is that so this is the little thong and also the color latte very comfortable my kind of thong this material is just so 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 nice this is also from the new collection it's the cotton poplin pajama trouser and shirt set oh my god that's really nice this is so cute. So little white trousers. Like it's like your kind of classic napco or classic pajama set. Um, but in this really gorgeous, like lightweight cotton, which is like the perfect cotton you'd want to sleep in. Like you're not gonna get hot. Um, I don't know how if you can tell, it's just really lovely and lightweight. This is the little shirt, just your classic shirt again, but how cute is that? I love also the white on white, like the piping. It's called piping. Yeah, this like trim is all white. Just looks really classic. And then these are the festive colors I'm obsessed. So, oh God, these are the boy shorts. These, they do these in a couple different colors. And when I tell you these are the comfiest pants you will ever wear in your life, obviously you don't want to wear them with anything that's like tight, like no skinny jeans, <laughs> I don't know, nothing where you'll get a VPL. But for like underneath loungewear, for the time of the month, like just even just for like sleeping in, these are the best little pajama shorts. They actually stretch out quite a lot when they're on, as in not stretch out, but like right now they look like they're really little like hipsters, but when they're on, you can kind of pull them up to your belly button and they just look like a nice little boy short. So I'm obsessed with this little festive red. I feel like Johnny, actually he's gonna hate those knickers, but I feel like he might appreciate the little set for Christmas, how cute. I don't know, it kind of looks like it's neon on camera. In person, it's like a true like red. It looks neon, doesn't it? It looks neon to me on camera, but yeah, true red. These are like the classic nap coat pajamas. If you have tried them, you will know like the rage about them. The material is just so soft. They're so flattering. They're just, I hate that this is looking neon on camera. I hope it isn't when I come to edit it, but right now when I'm holding it up, it literally <laughs> looks neon. But it's not, like I say, it's a real red. These are called the Rayon Stretch Pajama Trouser Set. So whereas the ones I showed you before are like cotton, so a little bit stiffer, not stiff at all, but the material's like cotton. This is like really soft, silky, kind of stretchy material. And it has that little bit of elastic on it. So when it's on you, it just it hangs really nice. So this is the little shirt. These are the little trousers. Um, so imagine them with that shirt open and then that little bra. Very cute. This is actually like a new style they did this winter. I don't think they've done this style before. I feel like I'm very clued up on that quote. <laughs> um, but this is a little pajama, like, I don't know, it's like, why is the word long johns in my head? Is that a thing? Anyway, this is kind of like those really, I don't know, it's like the Christmassy style. Let me know if you know what I mean. But anyway, little top and bottoms set. 
So this is the little top. It kind of feels like vintage. Does that make sense? Or like a ski chalet. It's like thermals, but it's not. I don't know. Anyway, this is a little top. So it's got a few little buttons down the front. Very, very cute. Again, really lovely and soft. I have these little like leggings to go with it. How cute is that for Christmas? So little soft leggings. And then imagine like really fluffy slippers coming out the bottom of them. Hair in a bun, glass of red wine, making Christmas cookies. <laughs> Good morning, guys. It is such a grim day outside. Um, and it's freezing and our heating is broken and the guy isn't coming until Saturday. It's currently Thursday and it's been broken since I think like Monday or Tuesday. So very cold in this house. Little Yodi is cozy up in his little bed. I feel like he's having that ugly stage that Frenchies go through. <laughs> where he's like growing into his features. Oh, darling. Um, but we're taking him to the vets in a minute because he's got this like awful rash, um, like where bits of his hair has kind of come out and he's red. Doesn't seem very itchy, but just definitely isn't right. So I'm gonna take him to the vets in about half an hour. Aren't we, darling? I'm gonna show you this light because the electrician is coming today to put the light up in the kitchen, which I'm very excited about. So this is the table situation, that is not normally there. That looks hideous. But anyway, this is the kitchen table um, and bench. We still have no chairs. We can't find any chairs that look nice. So can you guys let me know what kind of chairs you put with this setup? Obviously the bench is usually underneath. We have these darker bar stools, which we've decided to just keep. Um, I just feel like it's an unnecessary expense. And also we have our Bicrea ones, which I love and they're in storage at the minute. Um, so I feel like the next house, those Bicrea stools I would want. So I don't really want to buy anything for here. So maybe we match the chairs into this color. I have looked at like getting light wood chairs, but just nothing feels quite right. Also trying to do, if you're trying to do light wood, like trying to match the light wood to the light wood of the table, just feels like a really hard task. A lot of the light wood is a bit more orange. Um, so yeah, we're really stuck and I would really appreciate any help. Um, but the light is from Rowan Holmes. I think it looks so beautiful. It's going up here above the um, kitchen table. And I just feel like it's the perfect tones. Obviously the actual lamp shade matches the kitchen, matches the table. It's just nice and light. But then the fittings, and also there's like this detail on it, matches the bar stools and the darker bits in the kitchen. So I think it's gonna look really, really nice. Over here we have our sofa from Sophology. This was like 800, 900 pounds guys and it's gorgeous. Like the quality is really, really nice. This is the little sofa area. I feel like we needed a sofa in here, especially because, let me turn you around. Being in the old house, you might remember we had like an open plan, kitchen, lounge, dining situation. And since we've been in this house, we've realized we really do use the kitchen as like a communal hub. So if Jay's cooking, I like to sit over here and we can have conversation. I can have a glass of wine and just kind of be in the mix. So we definitely needed a seating area. And there's a TV opposite. I've definitely shown you this before, I'm remembering now. But my issue is it looks kind of bare. And I feel like you guys are gonna suggest a lamp and artwork. So I feel like you're gonna say put a lamp in that corner and a piece of artwork on the wall. I also think it needs to be shimmied over a little bit just to kind of make it center. Um, but yeah, this feels very bare to me and I don't know what to put in it. So does it need something? I don't know. Obviously the doggy setup is here for the minute. That will probably be there for another couple of months. So yeah, that kind of fills up the space. But I do think once that's gone, this is gonna feel like a big void of empty space. I don't know, let me know what you think. Um, so yeah, maybe an overhanging lamp, you know, those like kind of bent ones. I don't know. I feel like I should just take you upstairs now and show you the lounge situation as well. This is our lounge as you walk in. The sofa is too, doesn't look on camera, but I think in person the sofa is a really close colour to the walls. And I think the whole room just looks too muted and I really never thought I would be somebody that said that, but <laughs> I think it just needs a little something. So I think we put a console table here um, in between these windows and put like a nice big lamp on it, maybe some pictures, just to kind of make it a little bit more homely. And I think that'll break up this long corridor section. And this is the kind of situation from the old flat. I'm not getting rid of that TV unit because I know it'll work wherever we go, but I do think in this room it looks too small, but I think just live with it for the minute. 
um, Christmas tree is going to go up here, I think, or in that corner and we'll put the lamp here. We're not really decided yet. We have this really awkward corner around here, which Ignore at the minute has so much recycling. Um, but this is just like the most random inset ever. Like we don't know what to do with it. I feel like, I think they said that old tenants had like a little office set up in here, which would be fine. But it means I could move my office down here, like have a desk. I only need a desk really. But then what do I do with that room upstairs? It's just so tiny that you couldn't use it for anything else. So yeah, this is just another absolute dead space. Don't know what to do with it right now. As you can see, it's pure recycling storage. <laughs> um, so yeah, any suggestions for there? Let me know. It's quite a wide space too. Like a lot of people have said put like a little bar cart in there, but it's wide and it's deep. So it would look lost in there. You'd have to have like quite a magnificent bar. So yeah, do let us know. We are very stuck. The other option we maybe thought was putting like um, some kind of like bookshelf, like a, a big Ikea unit, not bookshelf, like storage unit, because there's like suitcases and stuff that we don't have anywhere for them to go right now. So I could just turn it into storage and kind of block off the wall. A miserable day. Where is he? I know I always say, it, I can't tell you how good this puppy is on the lead. Like I've never ever experienced that with the other two. He just like immediately knew how to behave on a lead. <laughs> it's great. Anyway, just heading into the vet, so I will update you when we are out. So, so annoyingly, we've always used Royal Cannon for the dogs, like puppies, and Bean was on it. Um, it is Royal Cannon. There's no E on the end. Oh, jeez. So anyway, that, the vet was like, it looks like a food allergy. Are you giving him chicken or grain? Which is like the first two things like you would think about not to give a Frenchie. Shush! We checked the ingredients and there's literal poultry and grain in that food. So that was so stupid of us. Or me, because I was the one that came from it. But anyway, so we have to change up his food and it's now like a little trial and error thing. So we went to the pet shop and I thought I'd show you what I got. And so if any of you have Frenchies and have them on a puppy food that hasn't got grain and hasn't got chicken, let us know. But so far we've got this one because every single puppy food had chicken in it, which is crazy. So this is shish. This one's called Simply. I like the branding. And this one has turkey in it, which apparently is, it is actually different to chicken. But in my head, chicken and turkey is about the same thing, but we'll see. Trial and error, and it's grain free, and it seems good. Shh. So, I know. We got this one to try, and then we got him this little raincoat, because it is getting chilly out. It's slightly too big for him, but he'll, he's growing. He's 8.85, and the last time we had him up there, he was 4.2 or something, so he's doubled his size. But I got this little raincoat, so it's not super, super warm, but it's slightly padded, and it's waterproof, padded, just give him a little extra layer when we're out, so that's cute, and he'll grow into it. And then for this big pig that is, can smell whatever he can smell, <laughs> I got him. Oh, I got him this harness actually, because he's, so, he's such a puller on the harness. He uses, I need to try this one for size dining. We use um, Julius K9, but he, I don't know, when he's excited on a walk, he does just pull, and I feel like it chokes him out a lot. So um, this is called the Halty No Pull Harness. I need to try it for size, but it does look good. His favorite treats, which are the Innocent Hound venison sausages. Got this little, like, Kong. You can like throw it and have treats in it or peanut butter, which we picked up. Obviously no palm oil. And the thing that he's gone crazy at we need right now for is some rabbit ears, which honestly repulsed me, but he loves them and they're definitely a treat for him. Kitchen light just went up, which is exciting. I'm gonna take you down and show you that in a second. And I'm wearing the Napco top that I showed you guys um, at the start of this video, at some point in this video, and it's so, Nice, it's literally a second skin. We do have a bra on as well, which is the Napco, um, they're called the sleep bras. They're just the perfect, comfy, big bras. It's just completely seamless with that top. I have my virally extremely soft joggers on. I have my white company slippers, no, cashmere socks on because it's absolutely Baltic in this house and we still don't have heating. <laughs> Show you the kitchen light and I'm also going to show you um, the unit. I've just measured it up for the lounge and I feel like it will work really nicely um, but Johnny's not sure on it which is quite annoying. My gut is saying just order it and it's currently in the cell right now 
It's from Andrew Martin. Really interesting, it's from Andrew Martin, but unlike other stockists like Olivia's and places like that, it's for, it's stocked for like 1,000, like over 1,000 pounds. On Andrew Martin's actual site, it's only 900, I mean I say only, but it's like 900 or 999, so under the 1,000 mark, and right now it's on the sale, or in the sale, so it's 750 pounds. So, it's for this little section here. This table is gonna be, a little bit higher than that window ledge there and it's also going to be a little bit shorter than the width between them but higher than them and it looks like this I do a big lamp obviously there's no plug sockets but i can just put a little battery thingy in from amazon and then i don't know, like a big diffuser and some books and just make it pretty but i do think that is going to be perfect for behind here what do you think yeah should mommy just order it and hope for the best this is the light. Very, very pretty. <laughs> it's kind of like, I showed you earlier, didn't I? So yeah, that is now up. And um, the only thing is, I thought that you could like adjust the length of it. So I thought we could kind of hang it like here, but you actually can't from what I have seen. So it feels quite high up to the table, but I don't know if it's just my eyes getting used to it. I feel like it kind of balances out everything around here. Like the table just looks a little bit more in proportion. Um, so yeah, I'm very glad that's up. Although I do wish it was a little bit short, like longer, but whatever. Not gonna be fussy. I just got a text from Liv. She said, I need wine. <laughs> and I said, you know what, I'm coming over. <laughs> I drive obviously, so I can only have one. But that was good, it means I can't get carried away. <laughs> but I've just finished up a bit of work. Stuck on, literally, Prada loafers. <laughs> no, Prada slippers. And my gorgeous coat from H&M. Has this gone up yet? No, this will be going up on Wednesday, but it looks like Joseph. It's like a brushed wool. It's gorgeous. I think it was a little bit more expensive than um, like standard H&M. I think it was like, whoops. Yeah, I think it was like um, 300 maybe? But anyway, we were meant to see each other today. Then we said I had an electrician coming around. It just kind of got away from us. And then we're seeing each other on Saturday for a PT session. But I'm glad I'm going around. I feel like I need a little girly chat today. Every time I'm in the car recently, I'm on this playlist called Early Christmas. <laughs> it's just the nicest Christmas music. Makes me so excited. Sunday. I don't know when I last spoke to you. Maybe yesterday? Maybe the day before? Um, so we have, no it's not Sunday, it's Saturday. <laughs> joined Liv's PT session this morning because I haven't worked out in like, I think it's been like two weeks and I feel like it's just good to get back into it like with a friend. You can't cancel, you have, you have to go. So <laughs> went and joined her session this morning which is really nice and then we went for a little breakfast at this gorgeous new spot in Allsford. And then I came back, grabbed both of the dogs and Johnny, and we took Yodi to the groomers, dropped him off there, and then took um, Biggles on a walk. A very, very, oh, it's came to my neck, a very, very muddy walk. But um, yeah, it's lovely to get out. So now we have two very sleepy pigs just catching up. Hello. Two very sleepy pigs after that, and Johnny and I have just been chilling out, and now we're gonna put the Christmas tree up. I feel like I've been literally saying to you since the start of this vlog, the Christmas tree's going up today, <laughs> but this week got away from us, and then we took all the stuff out to do last night, and we just couldn't be bothered. But we're in the mood today, so it actually feels really strange to be putting the tree up when it's light outside. Normally I do it like at night time, but it feels nice. Kind of debating if I should do garlands and things this year, like up the banister. Um, I'll see how I feel. But we're definitely getting the tree up, which would be nice. And I haven't, I ordered Christmas bits, but basically, I don't even remember what I ordered. But I know some of it hasn't arrived and some of it has arrived. So, well, actually one thing's arrived. I think we should put some music on. So now they did a troll pod. Yeah, if you're on my broadcast. Troll pod. Troll pod, <laughs> that's hard troll to say. Pole. You have to go on my broadcast channel. I can't even tell you how many of you have messaged me and said like. See that, I gave you a free plug. Yeah, so I think I already told them about it in the vlog. But it's like a girl group chat, it's so fun. You can't type back in it, which is really annoying. It's on my Instagram. If you go on my like, <laughs> what? yeah. So it's just your yeah, rooms coming out. Yeah, but apparently Meta are changing it and it will become like interactive. But um, if you go on my page and click in join broadcast channel, 
it's so fun. It literally just feels like a girl group chat. So anyway, I mentioned in there the other day that Johnny always falls out with me when, so when it's Christmas. Of ruining Christmas. Because he's such a Scrooge. Like he didn't, I think I say this every vlog, but he didn't grow up in like a decoration household, whereas I did. So but he also, just finds it a chore, whereas I find it like an absolute fun essential that has to happen. It's like, it's like an event every year. Um, so yeah. This year, you thought you've been pretty good. It is Saturday, and you did say Monday you were going to help me, but. <laughs> yeah. The tree is very spruce now. I think it looks really nice. I have to pick Two. up Nadia's slap. Yes. Yeah. This is, but doesn't it just go to show when you actually are in a good mood with Christmas? I didn't say I'm enjoying it. <laughs> yeah, you, you're, I'm this is how I roll. If I'm using time on my Saturday to put Christmas tree up, it's getting done properly. Huh? Yeah, but doesn't it just go to show what difference it makes? Because no. that's probably the best the tree's ever looked. You'll call me grumpy in about it seven looks so minutes. Good. All the last few years of enough, I've always been like, why is there like big gaps in it? It's so annoying. Just Bruce. Yeah. Yeah, you always did that. We always put it up and then I spruce and then I kind of decorate as well. <laughs> no, I don't think really get a decoration. No, so you bit. did help a few times. No, the decoration but bit. I'm also not going to put on like every single decoration this year. I'm just going to do like a little bit. First of oh, all, you got to show that. We have Beanie's outfit. We've had this on him. <laughs> we put it on him in the last two nights, but he started reverse sneezing. <laughs> I think he does it on purpose. He doesn't mind putting it on though. Show the people, mate. Oh my Look at that. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. There you go. Gorgeous! Come it's here! <laughs> the thing is, guys, these bubbles are like the easiest. Like, big mistake is these bubbles, fine, they have a little string attached. These bubbles, you have to attach like a metal hook to put it on the tree, and honestly, it just doubles the time, doesn't it? So annoying. Like, so annoying. They're from John Lewis, but they're right. the nicest, like, multi sets. Right, these are like our base bubbles, and then these are all like the fun ones. Yeah, this is your forte, honey, not mine. I know. This is a bit you don't want to do, isn't it? I did my job. <laughs> I've done my work here. So we have bubbles either side, and then in the middle, oh god, these Big ones. Up for it. Oh yeah, I've smashed a couple of those, haven't we? Yeah. These are from the Pampas collection. These are stunning. We've got mini versions and huge versions. Did we ever put the big ones on? I'm not sure. If I was single, my true, well, I probably wouldn't have a true, that person, a true. but that would just be it. I know. That. <laughs> that's why I always say I make our house a home. Show them the tinsel you've got there, that's too far. Tinsel. <laughs> this is from Pretty Little Home. Remember these? The Amsterdam houses with the tea lights? Oh, lovely. So these, we need to find somewhere for. We don't really have much space. Downstairs in the kitchen. Where you had that Halloween No, setup they're from. more like in here. What you well, put when we've got a console thing? table behind us, that'll be nice. Yeah. Um, what else do we have? <laughs> Bean's little head. That's Biggie, not Bean. Oh, God. I know. What have you been talking about him the whole time? Yeah. Oh, I need to show you. I bought a decoration for Bean. I'll show you in a minute. Um, these are also from Pretty Little Home. You can't put a tea light in here. I did that one year and like just heat the glass up so much. Yes, because there's no airflow. You need, yeah, so you need, <laughs> you need a battery light for these or they're just cute little ornaments. The battery on sound says you've got one. Not tea lights. Oh, these are the Pampas collection ones. Seriously, how stunning is that? I'm sure they'll do them again this year. And then this one I bought from Diptyque last year. That's pretty, isn't it? We've got to show the puppy the tree in that. I, I guess you do it first. Stunning. You like that one? That's cute, I've not seen that one before. Yeah, we had it up last year. Ah. These are also just like fillers from home base. So yeah, we've got a nice selection. But I like to glitz it out. I do like a bit of glitz at Christmas. Is that what you call it? Mm-hmm. I call it something else, but yeah. Do you think we're going to do the garlands this year? <laughs> what, would, yeah, what would you call it? <laughs> Cheap and tacky. <laughs> <laughs> I do, Christmas is a bit tacky though, isn't it? I'm gonna do the gardens this year. See, like under my ideal, my ideal dream house would have like a huge staircase as you walk in the front door, and it would have garlands all up it and big, like nude bowls, like chiffon bowls, I haven't thought about tied it. all the way up. You haven't got a wreath yet. No, I didn't get one. What do you mean you didn't get one? Like it's too late. <laughs> it's not even <laughs> midway through November yet. Oh, wow. I did have a look, but a lot of them were like you can't get them wet, and or that's why I opened the. If it rains, it hits our door. White company will do some nice ones. Yeah, but inside only, or it can't oh, get wet. Yeah. Put it on the inside of the door. Unless we get so a, real, a real one. 
We didn't get any picky bits either. Yeah, I know. I'm actually... Did you want them? Yeah, I'm actually angry. I said to live at breakfast this morning, I said, can you imagine a life where you're with a partner who doesn't like picky bits? You're not a picky bit what man. What kind of world do you live you're in? You're not a picky bit man. Pigs and blankets, quail eggs, salmon bellinis, champagne. You could have got champagne. No, champagne. no, you're talking about like macaron, chocolate mac and cheese balls. Yeah, you like all the weird Bacon wraps, hash browns, halloumi fries. Halloumi is good, yeah. Chicken dippers. Why don't you do that? I'll top our drinks up and you go to Waitrose. No, I had two wines. I can't. In your pyjamas. I can't. This bubble is from my sister-in-law. So I don't know if I said it, I think I must have said it on the vlog last year, that I wanted to get this for Beanie's Polaroid, but I ended up getting it too late or something, and the one I got had all like tempered, is it tempered glass? It also sounds great that you put Polaroid in a round thing and it's not going to turn out too great. It is! The one we had last year, yeah. the glass was like ridged, oh, okay. so you couldn't see inside it. Yeah. That'll be in here somewhere. Why did you just go, eh? <laughs> it's like I was completely wrong. Because you, anyway, because you, anyway, what? so I missed out on buying it and I said it on my vlog, and then for Christmas, my sister-in-law had watched the vlog and she got this for me, which is so special. So this year we can finally have Beanie in a clear bubble. I thought we were just filling it with ashes. Front and centre, darling. No, that was a joke. I'm not gonna put ashes in it. Now, do you want it to get him stuff? Like, let's not go <laughs> down these ways. Do you want it to get him taxidermy? <laughs> I did not want to get him taxidermy. Um, and then I also got <laughs> that him- That would scar Biggie for life. <laughs> can you imagine? Here's the decoration that I bought on Next. Wait, it looks like it has lights inside, it doesn't. That's the Christmas tree <laughs> reflecting on it. Have I not shown you this? No. It says, Mr. Bean or Angel? Is that not... Oh no, I asked you what to write on it. Isn't that so pretty? So this is my first decoration. Front and centre. Here. <laughs> He's like, get me off that tree. How pretty! Merry Christmas, baby. Rain is coming out to play. Good morning, guys. It's the next day. I thought I'd show you the tree in some natural light before I head off from this vlog and start editing it for tonight. Um, so yeah, this is what it looks like. Very pretty. I do want to say I definitely miss my wooden floor in the London house. I feel like that just made this tree look amazing. But it still looks gorgeous and cozy and pretty and a little bit of glitz and yeah really really like it so that's nice and up and sorted for christmas now so yeah the only last bit of decorations to do are um the garlands but i'm not going to do them this year i don't know should i do them should i just do it or should i just not bother this year i don't know i think it's because i'm going home like pretty much a week earlier than i usually would be um i just feel like is there any point <laughs> Is the tree enough? I don't know. Um, anyway, I just did a little Dyson Airwrap and I used my Hourglass, what's this called? Hourglass Hydrating Skin Tint, Hourglass Veil, which I love. It's definitely like super lightweight, but it's just enough to give you a little bit of like color on your skin, like on a day like this. So yeah, I like it. Anyway, my battery is flashing at me, so I'm going to love you and leave you. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all on Wednesday for a very big autumn winter haul. Bye-bye. <laughs>